Hello world, welcome to my channel. So guys, today's um, tutorial is going to be on how to crochet a swatter with a grafika. Yeah, this is uh, what I did and yeah, I made a little changes to this picture by creating some <laughs> little eyes and nose and I change the color and everything so you can use the same graphic and just check out my community or the description place you have a link to how to coach it in the graphic can okay. so today's tutorial is just going to be on how to coach this simple sweat i hope you enjoy it stay tuned and if you've not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel stay tuned to more amazing videos which you can check out my other videos as well and remember to turn on your notification, okay? The bell there, just click on it and turn it on. Let's move to the This is the picture that we are using and when you look closely, you realize that there's this little boxes in it, okay? So the, um, the sides divide your piece into it and you realize that I tried to make some changes to this one, okay? That's why it looks different and even though it's my first time I think I think I tried okay so um, this is how I started making it and also you can also check out I've left a link of a video where I learned how to make this graphic on so that you can just um, learn it and you can use any picture that you want to use okay so this is my work and I'll leave the picture of my community tab okay so those who are interested in making the same picture you can just check it out and use it okay so in all i made 20 inches of yeah of the length so the length is 20 inches and some few okay and the height is also 20 inches so the uh, twenty point five inch, yes. So this part is going to form the front part of our cardigan. So you are going to work for the back part of our cardigan, and you are making sure that the back one is the same for the front one. So we are you chain first of all, you chain up to twenty inches, just like for the length, and we are going to crochet up for a height of 20.5 just like we have from the front part of our work okay so next of all what you do is you make single crochet in each of the stitch holes that you have yeah so you make single crochet in each stitch hole okay and when you get to the end of your chain you chain one and you turn your work and you keep on making your single crochet so this work is fully mainly about single crochets it's only the wrist part that we are going to use a uh, half double crochet for it even with that you can use single crochet for it yeah so when you get to the end you chain one then you work then you continue with the single crochet okay so with this one when you're working for the back one depending on how how you want it okay so for mine because my yarn is not enough i'm going to really really change colors on every feet through okay so i changed this what i have after making the single crochet for two points 20.5 inch okay so after feet through every feet through i change to two rows of a red or uh, let's say a pink color kind of thing yeah so this is how i created my back now let's work for the sleeves okay so with the sleeves you are going to use the same change of color the same pattern that we use for the back okay but with the sleeve 
we chain so that you've after you've measured your around your arm or around your sleeve area you so after me after measuring it a chain okay and make sure that your chain when you put it around your sleeve area it wouldn't um tighten you that much it won't tighten you so i'm making 17 sorry 12 okay so this 12 inches and um single crocheting the next okay so we are using the same pattern for the back so you make single crochet till you get to the end you you chain one and you turn your work and when there's a need for you to change your color you change your color okay you can also make this in plain depending on the yarn that you have okay so we are going to do this to i repeat the pattern for twice okay so after making the first part and the second part i'll show you what to do okay so let's move on in case you are using my a pattern for this Yeah, so when you get to this part which is twice the pattern or the repetition of the pattern you are up to seven inch the next what you do is you're going to create a kind of reducing effect so with the single crochet on every fifth single crochet you skip the stitch hole okay so this is the foot you skip you skip this stitch hole then you move on to the next stitch hole and you make your single crochet we are doing this because we want a kind of reducing effect for it because when you check your arm you realize that your arm is not of the same size it just um reduces as you move to your waist your wrist part sorry so on every feet you skip the stitch until you get to the end and that's it we have already created the effect so the next one you chain one and you turn your work and you keep on making your single crochet without skipping remember don't skip you've already done the changes so after making the single crochets in each of the stitch holes that you have you realize that when you make another um, repetition of the pattern when you get to the you realize that the effect will gradually show itself okay so let's do that repeating this part to this area case okay. yeah so after repeating that you see that the effect has been created and it's is well so with the next one so we are going to skip on every seventh row okay i'm doing i'm re, i'm skipping this part also because um the person i'm working for has like slimmer and that is of course you can just uh, keep on making your single crochet to till you get to the length that you want for your sleeves but with this person i'm um, reducing that side because the arms are really slim or thin okay so depending on the person that you are working for okay so if it's smaller you just make a reducing effect it if it's bigger you just maintain it and you're good to go 
So single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, chain you ten, then single crochet right up, up and up. Okay. So let's do that. So this is what we have. This is what you have. You realize that the reducing has taken place. And you can keep on and keep on till you get to the height that you want. Okay. And you keep on with your single crochet. But this time what I'm going to do is I keep, I will reduce at the side of my work. Okay. Making single crochet as well, reducing the size as well. Not always, but just a little bit of it. Just to keep on with the shape of uh, work. Bye. Bye. Right, so in all the sleeve for this person is 17.5.9 almost point nine okay almost 18 inches okay and you make two of these so at the end we'll fold it like this to form the sleeve okay so you make two of the same panels for the sleeve yes yeah, so this what we have you put this somewhere and you are going to work for this part okay so with this part what i do is i make my chain depending on the wrist of the person so you make your chain then i'm going to use half double crochet so i yarn over insert my hook pull my yarn giving three loops then you yarn over to the three loops loops that's half double crochet okay of course you can use single crochet but i want a kind of um, different pattern for the wrist part of my work okay so i'm going to use only this pink kura color yarn for this okay so you put through all three loops that's half the bukushi to the end so when you get to the end you chain one you turn your work and you are going to work back looping back looping to create some kind of ripping effects so you yarn over with the first stitch or you make your half double crochet the normal half double crochet for the sake of the turning okay so you yarn over and you back loop so you check out for the loop behind and you make your half double crochet yarn over check the loop behind it then you make your half double crochet we are back looping because we want to create a kind of rip effects for our work okay so we are going to do this 17 times or as long as you can to successfully wrap around your wrist Bye. 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 
When you're done, you make single crochet and decide to make it straight or to make it look finished. Okay, and always single crochets helps to straighten a work. Okay, so I'm using that at the edge to make it look straight before I fix it to my main work. Next, I'm going to make single crochet to fix it. To get that, of course, you can use a thread and a needle for it, but I prefer using single crochet just in case I make a mistake and I will need to undo my work. Okay, so I'm making single crochet, joining the two pieces together. Make sure that you join from the inside. Okay, so I've turned the um, I've turned the negative part of my work, and I'm fixing it with a single crochet. Bye. Bye. When you get to yeah so when you're done you can make the same effect for the down part but you can also make single crochet for it but i'm going to use single crochet for this one so i'm going to use the same color in creating the single crochet okay and the single crochet i have to use it to join the back part together so after making my single crochet together with the back this is what i have so i've joined mine to the front panel and the back panel together with a single crochet yes yeah, so now let's fix the sleeves to our work and yeah so let's do that and we'll work for the top part then we are done with our work Bye. 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 
After facing both sizes of the sleeves, now let's work for the top part, okay, by creating armhole. So I'm going to measure to um, 6 inch from the left and 6 inch from the right, okay. So you have to put your stitch marker just to indicate where you're going to leave. Okay, or where you're going to start from okay so just put your stitch marker there because you are creating the neck hole for our work right so we are going to seal the side and side and leaving the middle part of our work and at the end Yeah, so you are going to do that sealing the side from 
this part and sealing the other side and where your stitch marker leaving the middle part and after making it you realize that your work is complete okay so let's do that this is very easy to make just food of single crochet you can use any stitch that you prefer okay so after making it and sealing the side let's put it on and see how it looks on us guys at the end this is what you have isn't this beautiful you can check out my other videos as well so guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you in my next video tutorial